cello in the seventh grade intermediate orchestra. A reminder as we begin our concert tonight, please remember to turn all cell phones to their silent mode. The first piece that we will be playing for you tonight is called Little Symphony. This is a modern composition that emulates the popular composer Mozart and the popular style of music of classical. We learned a lot about a lot of new bow techniques in this piece, and we hope that you enjoy the show.
Before the next piece, I want to take a moment and introduce my fabulous student teacher, Sarah Lawler. She joined us from NAU this semester, and we're very lucky to have her. So thank you for choosing us to help out in our program. Also, I'm going to hand out a couple of words. So I say this every year, and it gets harder every year. If you if you've been here and you've seen this program grow, my first year five years ago, I had 14 combined seventh and eighth graders. And it was a whole lot easier to hand out awards because I didn't have that many. And I told them, I said, don't be hurt if you don't get an award because they really are fantastic. There are so many kids. We were sitting down discussing it and there's so many kids that we think deserve all the awards because they're just that amazing. So what an awesome problem, right? So here are some of the kids though that we thought really hard about that kind of stuck out and there was a something, you know, an event or something that we thought this person needs to be recognized. So I'm gonna start off with my most improved award. These are always some of my favorite. Um, this particular person came to orchestra and did not play the bass, but I convinced this person to play the bass. And um, this person didn't excel immediately at bass, um, but they worked really hard and they kept practicing and uh, they started focusing in class, which helped a lot. And um, they improved a whole bunch where they're sitting first chair on bass tonight, and that's Jared Chang. <laughs> I made her really sad that day. <laughs> and 
and I put it in my desk and I said, you can't have it because I'm not going to baby you and I'm going to take the training wheels off and I'm going to force you to do your notes. And I, you know, she didn't like talk to me for the next two days, really. I really think I made her a little sad. But the next week she came and she has been stellar at reading notes. I think she just needed to have confidence in herself and trust herself and she's come a long way. And so that's Miss Madison Fitzgerald for Most Improved. <laughs> most improved award tonight. And she also came into orchestra. I think she thought, I don't know if I'm really cut out for orchestra. I'm not sure I'm very good at violin. And um, again, she has made tremendous strides and she is quite the violin player and I'm so proud of her progress. And that's Madeline Hatch. <laughs> group of kids. Um, this particular person comes to class every single day, never have forgotten their pencil on a stand, never their music, never their instrument, never really says anything in class <laughs> unless you ask her. Um, and she's always marking her music, she's always taking it home and practicing and trying her best. And uh, we're just so proud of her. So she's outstanding beginning orchestra student, and that's Emily Hall. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue on with the concert for a gypsy tale. So, Avery, come on up.
Harris, and I play, I'm in seventh grade, and I play the violin in the Intermediate Orchestra. The last place we, the last piece we will be playing tonight is Boogie Man Blues. This piece is really fun. We will have six soloists, so please hold your applause till the end. This is probably one of our favorite pieces. We hope you enjoy.
Campbell, and I play the violin in the 8th grade concert orchestra. The first piece that we'll be playing for you tonight is called Night Shift. This is a really exciting piece that showcases our shifting technique. What makes this piece exciting is when we execute different dynamics and style workings. Dynamics are when we play different volume levels. The driving rhythms and sounds of this creative work has helped us to attain new heights of skill and musicianship. We hope you enjoy our exciting performance of Night Shift.
Okay, so before the next piece, I'm gonna take a moment and hand out some of the eighth grade awards. So the first award that I'm gonna hand out is the most improved award. This particular student was actually my guitar student last year, and she excelled in guitar. And she came to me at the end of the year, and I think she was kind of bummed that she didn't have a music class to go to after her beginning guitar class. And she said, Mrs. Payne, can I do orchestra next year? And I was like, well, I mean, have you played a string instrument before other than guitar? No, I haven't. Okay, well, these kids, you know, they're around four years experience level. She was like, well, what if I get private lessons? And I've had kids tell me this before, and they come in and they're usually, you know, with two months, seven weeks of school, um, or in between school and the summer, usually it's really hard to catch up. But she was no ordinary student. <laughs> and I said, well, why don't you take private lessons, come back to me in July on buck days, and then I'll re-audition you. So she came in, she re-auditioned, she wowed me. I could not believe how much she had learned in seven weeks. She was taking double lessons with a private teacher and obviously practicing her little heart out. And so uh, it's also very rewarding to know how much she enjoys orchestra and how much she's practiced and improved just this year as well. And that student is Kim Black. This particular student, um, she has, this is the Outstanding Orchestra Student Award. And this person always is on task, always comes with a smile, always prepared, I never have a complaint, and it seems like she just loves the music. She just plays her heart out, her heart and soul, every single day. And I just couldn't ask for a better person um, to be more consistent and always watching and always trying her best. And that's Miss Justine Sibley. This particular person is involved in everything at school. She does sports, she does cheer, she um, does, uh, I think, barrel racing, something with horses. She does everything. Every time I'm asking her about something, she's doing it. And, uh, but she does it well, and she excels. And she's really excelled in this orchestra as well. And I gave her an uh, additional challenge because she went to All-State uh, Junior High Orchestra this year. And she just rose to the challenge and said, yeah, I can do that music. That's the hardest music I've seen in my life, but I can do it. And she did. And she went home and she practiced, and she rose to the challenge. And that's Miss Kennedy Riggs. This last award is the Director's Award. This award goes to an eighth grader every year who I've had for two years and I've seen them consistently always give up their all for two years. And um, this particular student always gives her all. And she was also an All-State, and she did really well. I think she ended up doing six chair first violins in the state orchestra. And um, she's just stellar. I, she's always on task, always has her music, always has her violin. She's willing to play some piano parts when we need it. She's just a joy to have an orchestra. So the director's award tonight is to Miss Aubrey Carpenter. <laughs> All right, we're gonna continue on with our concert with Dorchester Street Song. So Lily, come and tell us something about it. Good evening, my name is Liliana Lopez and I play the cello in the eighth grade concert orchestra. The next piece that we'll be playing for you tonight is Dorchester Street Songs. The title of this composition and as well as the names of the two movements, High Park Dance and Kimbark Song, are actually street names bordering the orchestra room at the University of Chicago Laboratory School in Hyde Park. We hope you enjoy the song.
something before our last piece. I want to thank you all for coming, and I want to thank you for loaning me your students. It's a pregnancy. <laughs> Every single day. Um, I'm going to really miss this program, but I'm so proud of them. They have done so well, and the 7th and 8th graders have improved so much, and I'm so proud of the program. And a couple people I need to thank. I need to thank our fabulous principals, Mr. Holgerson and Mrs. Johnson. They are always supportive of the program. And when I came in, I'd come into their office all the time. Hey, I need this. Hey, I have this idea. Hey, I want to do this. And I think back at it, and they were always just like, yeah, I think we can make that happen. Let's see what we can do. And they really, truly want to see this program grow. And without them, we couldn't have done it. And so I'm really excited to leave this program as such a strong program. Um, and it's, you know, for our administration, I just... Miss Johnson hasn't missed one concert in five years, and she comes to every single concert and supervises and helps out in the back. And so we're just truly blessed to have her at Novart Engineer High School. Thank you. Jacobs and this beautiful PAC that we get to use in her intern staff. I know Dan tonight's doing lights and sound. Thank you, Dan. Um, it's so nice. As you guys know, we've had the cafeteria, and that's nice too. I like it. It's very intimate. But what a beautiful place to have your junior high students perform, right? So we're very lucky, and I thank them for all of their work helping us set up the stage and do lights and uh, put the show together. Thank you, Dan. All right, we have a fun piece for you at the end. We're gonna do some Orange Blossom special, so I'm gonna let Zach introduce that to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Morris, and I am a violinist in the eighth grade concert orchestra. For our final piece, we will be playing Orange Blossom special. This piece is a fiddle piece made to imitate train noises. They forced me to do this. <laughs> Here's some of the lyrics from the song. <laughs> looky on her coming, coming down that railroad track. Hey, looky on her coming, coming down that railroad track. It's the Orange Blossom Special, bringing my baby back. Well, I'm going down to Florida and get some sand in my shoes, or maybe California and get some sand in my shoes. I'll ride that Orange Blossom Special and lose these New York blues. And before we start the piece, I would furthermore like to recognize Mrs. Payne for all the years that, it sh that she has taught uh, at our school and at the high school. Uh, we very much appreciated her and all the hard work she's gone through for us. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I tried to convince him to do a southern accent for that, but he didn't do it. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, let's have some fun.
my true hope for each of these students is that they keep up with music. I know that they are all very talented and we have a really good time at orchestra. And I work them hard, but we have a good time, don't we? Yeah. All right. Have a great night. Thank you. Good job, guys.